What's going on guys? Merrick here. Last week we covered all of the maps for the classic Battlefront 1 game, went over their layouts and talked strategy for each of the various factions. This week we'll be talking about the maps in Battlefront 2, going over the changes to the maps that have come from the first game, discussing strategies for the new maps that are new to the second game, and going over various strategies for each faction on each map. The first new map on the list is probably my personal favorite. It's the Coruscant Jedi Temple map. Uh, if you're spawning as the Rebels or the Droids, you get control of the Star Chamber. If you're spawning as the Empire or the Clones, you've got the Calm Room, the Veranda, the Jedi Archives, the Jedi Cha Council Chamber, and the War Room are all neutral command posts to take. Personally, I like the spawn point for the Empire and the Clones a little bit better. However, the spawn point for the Rebels and the Droids uh, gives you quicker access to the neutral command post so you can take an earlier lead. When playing as the clones and the Empire, I usually head straight down the hallway that goes past the Jedi Council Chamber. I don't usually take the Council Chamber unless I'm trying to get uh, an easy five points to be able to play as the advanced class. However, I prefer to attempt to thwart the enemy faction's attempts to take the war room from us. Uh, usually they're going to take it before you anyways because they just spawn closer to it. I think the only class that might have a chance of actually getting here in time and trying to disrupt them from taking it is probably the sniper class, uh, but if you happen to get here and there's too many enemies in this command post, you will get shredded being so frail. Um, but it's a pretty easy one to take. They spawn in the lower level and you have the upper stairway. They will spawn across on the other side, but it's easy enough to take care of them with a few shots and maybe a grenade or two. Once you've got the war room, you're going to head towards the, the star chamber. And this one's a little harder to take because not only do they, do they like to spawn in this command post, uh, but there's, there's not as much of a vantage point, And it leaves, you, it leaves you very trapped and overwhelmed if you attempt to stand in there and take it. So I usually like to stand right on the edge of the doorway here and see if I can. That's a bad grenade. Yep. And then once you've cleared the enemy out, you take the command post, and you've pretty much got it set for the rest of this match. Once you have all the other maps and you have them trapped at the veranda, there's really not a whole lot left they can do, and it becomes a real sweat fest uh, as they slowly attempt to try and push you back and gain access to one of the other command posts. Once your team has taken the final command post, I find that a lot of times if you go up this walkway to the left, of the command post you'll usually find one or two of the final enemies left standing here I don't know if they're just hiding out here until the end of the match is over but that's usually where they are by that point it doesn't matter I just like to be the one to get the last kill when spawning as the droids or the rebels first thing I do is go straight towards the war room it's the easiest command post to take because it's the quickest one you can get to uh, you can leave the veranda to your allies or even the bots for that matter because the clones are not going to go after it. They don't have an option to really go after it. Um, I just tr always try to make sure that I get to the council chamber. I would like to get here before they're able to take this command post so that we don't have to worry about them spawning in as we try to take it from them as they're doing right now. Um, just try and always be aware of your surroundings. And then that way you can just blast whatever spawns in here, and hopefully you can contest it long enough to take it away from them. The command post itself doesn't really hold any strategic value outside of bridging the gap between the... Fuck. They really want this command post back, though. Hide behind a chair. As dumb as that sounds, it gives you a little bit of cover. For some reason, they really value this command post. See, they really want that command post back, even though the only thing that it does is just bridge the gap between the war room and the comm room that they spawn in. But otherwise, it just it, there's no point in really holding it that, that much, aside from, you know, possibly just because you can snipe from it into the center corridor, I suppose. But it's, it's, just, not the, it's just not the most important command post on the map. But the, uh, the AI, for some reason, seem to think that it is. So maybe they know something that I don't. It's also a little bit harder because 
uh, the clones not only have the uh, the jet troopers, but it honestly it feels like worse than the jet troopers are the clone commandos or commanders, because the AI just has such better aim, and when that, when their aim is on point with with those those chain guns, it's really really freaking hard to not just get lit up in a heartbeat. For me personally, I find that there's a lot less fighting that goes on in the main corridor as there is in that, that back hallway. For some reason, it just the battle just seems to go differently depending on which faction you're playing. So that's going to be it for our strategic map overview for the Coruscant Jedi Temple. Honestly, most of the action seems to happen either in the center corridor uh, between the veranda and the council chamber or down the hallway that runs in front of the council chamber. I personally prefer to play this level as Empire or Republic just because making your way from the comm room to the chamber to the war room to the star chamber, it kind of gives you a straight path of command posts to take, leading you out into the center corridor where more or less the only command post to take is going to be the veranda. So all of the action is going to be contained within that part of the map versus playing as the droids and the rebels going from the star chamber to the war room is simple enough taking the council chamber is a little more difficult and then getting to the comm room which is their main spawn point is just a lot more difficult to take that one so the jedi archives is probably the most useless command post on this map i don't even bother with it unless it just happens to be the final one or if i'm searching for the final couple stragglers to kill star wars battlefront classic collection comes out in just two weeks so we hope to see you on the battlefront